Hello Virgo, I'm hoping you're doing well. We're going to go ahead and do your weekly reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus for January 24th through the 30th. I'll be using the Kelty Cross spread, so general messages, whatever the universe wants you to know. As usual, take what resonates, leave the rest. This is for the collective, so this may not resonate with all of you. All right, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What are the messages for Virgo? What does Virgo need to know, please? One more. I, mean, I hope you can hear me, guys. The Page of Cups, Piscean Energy, and the Knight of Wands. So someone here is very expressive. Feels like there's um, action towards maybe confession or, you know, someone feels like the drive to, to go with their intuition or their feelings. We'll see. The Queen of Pentacles, very much your energy or someone that you're dealing with. Wow. Crossed by the Knight of Cups. The Death Card. The Magician. The Emperor, the Ace of Cups, the Eight of Swords, the Hanging Man, the Ten of Swords, and the Two of Wands. Okay. The main character is the Queen of Pentacles here, and it's coming or is being, you know, challenged here by this romantic night, actions towards love. It's like someone here that is usually always trying to keep safety, practical approach. For some of you, maybe again, dealing with Scorpio, but I have all the um, signs here, almost all the signs. There's love. Someone wants to approach this uh, Queen of Pentacles, wants to tell her, we have two nights, I have feelings here. But you... Or what happening in this situation the root is that <clears throat> there's some type of big changes here major changes um, transformation <clears throat> I mean some, something here what we will see when we clarify it looks like um, certain things here had to hand or transform or change recently you have felt you or your person your situation that there was awareness mercury here gemini or virgo something here came out of this transformation out of this big change mentally something got activated here that okay i can see the big picture or i can see now what i can work with i feel like for some of you this is someone that has been manifesting here a person that they had to let go or felt like that things here had to undergo a lot of transitioning or as I mentioned here, transformation, but someone has been manifesting, constantly thinking, being aware of the connection, being aware of, of this love. In your mind, your thoughts, you have the emperor. There's something here about power and authority and control, like someone here has to look at this, like, okay, I have, um, I have to put these roots here, I have to have this structure in order for me to be able to move forward. It's like, I feel like such a different energy from these two. Though you have become aware of what the possibilities are or what this connection is or what is being manifested, to me, this is a power struggle of control. How can something change here and then also someone being able to hold on to that power? Unless some of you are thinking of this strong masculine energy. Again, I have to clarify. But that's what you see possible. It's like, I need to stay in control or I need here for certain things to be able to be controlled. Power, authority. It's like someone's domain. What's coming in is just this new emotion. It's this new feeling or that um, Knight of Cups here, this Prince Charming is ready to open up, is ready to offer love. It's just there's this potential for something more new love for some of you allowing yourself you or your person here to go forward why 
can't you talk? Why don't you see right now things? That's how you see yourself. That's your behavior, Virgo. That no matter what, it's just you feel like tied to this situation. I can stop thinking about this, but I also don't see any solution at the moment. Or there's so much going on on my mind that I feel I can't say anything. It's like both you and someone else, because external here, someone as well is waiting, hanging there. And I feel like in a way, I don't want to say that the hanging man has given up, but feels like I'm going to stay here for a long time. I feel like right now all I can do is just wait, look at different angles, dream about this situation. It's like a lot of stalemate outside forces and when it comes to how you see things you are afraid that maybe this is over and maybe there's not going to be here there's someone is not going to take actions towards love there's painful ending here with the death card and the ten of swords maybe you feel like something here is painful no matter what we have romance that new beginning is coming here but there's something else that worries you that the timing may be off we have gemini energy by the end of the week the best situation here is that someone, whatever these two choices that you're looking at, there's one that is highlighted for you guys. This is someone that is trying to decide very soon who is this person that I'm choosing with or what is the pathway. This is Mars in Aries, so he's very assertive. You might think, oh, I need to stay in control. I need to have power. That's what you see possible in your mind. But he's saying that actually after this new emotion here, this new feeling, someone finally is deciding here, what is the best choice? What is the best pathway? It's like always with this one, as you can see how far this person can see when it comes. There's this choice that currently, whatever is holding you or someone else, there's something that, you know, brings you to uh, this vision of the future. Like there is literally a vision here uh, that you can see the pathway, as I mentioned. And no, at the moment is not coming with you feeling like you have to have control or there's something here about authority or someone that provides that with that emperor. Because this is also, I feel, what you think is best possible for you. What your thoughts feel like, I have to stay here and have control or this is you know the personality that i am attracted to there's nothing wrong with that but i feel like uh, in the end there's a choice to be made let's clarify though what to wrap it up for those that <laughs> because i want to clarify and get uh, a little bit more clear in the understanding it looks like something has to end here you are aware you have been manifesting this for some time we this is about love but also this is also about the heart as well or when it comes here to something of security stability because you feel trapped i feel like with the queen of pentacles someone also is trying to look at in a practical way when it comes to this emotion let's see though what is this queen of pentacles here tell me about the queen of pentacles One more. Capricorn energy and the devil. Some of you may be dealing with Capricorn. The queen of pentacles um, is tied here to something regarding the material world. Some of you, this is coming. This queen of pentacles is very desirable, but very forbidden. One more for the devil, please. Yeah, there's a lot of burden here that keeps someone tied, codependent. What is the Knight of Cups, please? One more. Guys, this is so beautiful. Though the Queen of Pentacles is coming as some type of someone is burdened by a situation, maybe financially here, or burdened by something right now that they're trying to let go. But this is what's challenging this is that someone believes that is these vows, promises, or there's this happily ever after here with someone, and it has to do with this main character. This is what keeps challenging. 
what ties because i'm looking at that what ties this queen of pentacles to something here of convenience or a burden here that someone feels responsible because the emperor also has a lot of responsibility what ties this person and then what is is that someone is being called towards this love proposals here romance that's what i'm getting with um you know that is being challenged with the queen of pentacles what do i want here is this the ending of this codependency or unhealthy situation or the forbidden and how can i go towards what i want that's why you have to make that choice this is crossing you guys this is the challenge that you have to overtake or this is what is helping you when it comes to this hard situation now, we know that something, for this to happen, something completely drastically here, here has to change. Unleashing here or letting go of this burden, letting go of the ties here that keep someone captive of convenience materialistically here. But the Ten of Cups and the Knight of Cups is uh, that type of fairy tale feeling, uh, proposals. Let's live a happily ever after type of situation. What is the death card, please? One more. Yep. What do you have to let go? What do you have to let go? Eight of Cups. What can you walk away? What is this still beautiful connection here that you feel drawn to? This is all about letting go of something here. What is the magician, please? Tell me about the magician. The, the page of cups again. To me, there's someone that's still aware um, that they have feelings or manifesting some type of um, messages of love here or some type of return there's mental connection telepathic communication or i feel like you and someone else are picking up each other's feelings here or thoughts of how the other person feels there's been mostly here is that someone is not only very creative but it's like to me it's like i can manifest anything and this is about this ex expression of love someone has that ability to be able to think that this is what I want or this is what I can manifest. The Page of Cups. Let's get one more card here. What is this about, please? One more. Yep. Something has been activated in the recent past for you guys to understand... Um, the potential of this love or what it is here that you have been um, creating, I feel. This is so beautiful. But I keep getting that uh, with the Death Card and the Eight of Cups, there's disappointment. The recent past is, to me, someone that is newly become aware of what they can accomplish with this person or sending a love message or hoping that there's going to be some type of communication about love what is this i'm gonna see yeah temperance there's been an integration and healing why do you have the emperor as what you see possible one more To me, what I get is that if uh, I'm not going to make a decision, then I'm just going to hold on to what I feel is my way. Um, the emperor does not deal with indecisive energy. So I feel like you have, no matter what this crossroads, remember, you, you're saying, no, this is not the case. The potential outcome is that I cannot stay here and wait and hold on to my domain or control. It's like in the end, someone has to make that choice. What is this two of swords with the emperor? Is it proposals for some of you? Accepting someone's proposal or accepting that this is your true partner? 
Tell me about the Emperor and the Two of Swords, please. One more. Yep, there needs to be some clarity. It's like someone has been waiting there for um, this news, for some type of breakthrough, or to get out of this indecisive. I'm not going to make um, a choice here. I'm going to wait until I get something clear. That's your thoughts. Tell me about this Ace of Cups as immediate situation here. The immediate situation that is coming in. One more. You see? The Two of Wands. By the way, I've had the Two of Wands for a lot. For a lot of uh, signs for the collective. This new opportunity has to do with some of you new love. If you are letting go of something here, walking away from what has not been working for you and have been manifesting a new beginning. Or someone is ready here to open up. There, This is, I feel like, a potential of someone that cannot anymore hold on back their feelings. This is the opportunity. This is the new beginning that makes someone realize that this is the best choice for me. You might have been analytically here we are ruled by mercury and everything here even the way you want to express you have been kind of you know looking at how to communicate these feelings but it's saying that this is just pure emotions just purity here like this is what i feel and i'm going to go here instinctive we have water and uh, fire emotional and instinctive though you are feeling to stay more in control of what the facts are with that ace of swords and the two of swords this is no it's the ace of cups and two of wands that is coming in here it's a, contradicting a little bit here how you think possible and what's coming in what is the eight of swords Why the Eight of Swords, please? One more. You're stuck in this cycle here because in a way I feel like you always feel with the Wheel of Fortune that um, that is here this opportunity, this faded energy or waiting for, you know, this, um, I feel like luck to come in. Jupiter and Jupiter. So I feel like this is, that's what your thoughts are. I keep thinking about this and I keep going and going and going. It's just this vicious cycle of waiting for this change, waiting for this break. What is the Eight of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune? Which again, Jupiter, Virgo, they, they say this is Pisces um, year because of Jupiter in Pisces. But remember, guys, um, this Jupiter is opposing you. So the tension here has to do, especially when there's opposition, anything that from outside here, like you're trying to balance the situation. So you might feel like more overwhelmed to act here, even with something that you don't feel comfortable. What is this Eight of Swords with Will of Fortune? Which it is Pisces, but I feel like because of Pisces, um, you also are being affected a lot here. Eight of Swords and Will of Fortune, please. One more. Okay. Hmm. You can't uh, stop thinking about this person. At the same time, you feel like your hands are tied. Like you, you don't feel like, what, what can I do? I'm just waiting for something to change. So, you know, we'll be together. But it is about a person here. That you're constantly circling back to. Especially when it comes to your thoughts. You want to put an end to a certain situation. There's love coming in here. It's like Mars in Pisces there. It, what overwhelms you, these feelings. And then we have someone that is burdened because of some other situation here that they cannot get out of. But yeah, that's your whole persona here. Tell me about the hanging man externally here. The hanging man, please, external. One 
one more. Your person is hiding away, waiting, still interested. They still want to know about you here. They may be seeing you as well that you're hanging on, but you're still interested. But I'm getting a lot of, um, or someone here feels like they have to um, do their time here because right now you uh, there's a lot of avoidance and walking away. But there's certain, um, someone is looking here in the shadows, waiting in the shadows or avoiding this situation because they feel they have to self-sacrifice something. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. Why the Ten of Swords in your hopes and fears? One more. Wow. Or you are looking here for some type of um, saving after this painful situation. Or you feel like you have this, you know, realizing here that maybe this is not the timing and I need here to get over this situation. Something here tells me that because of the death card and judgment here, this is very important to you that you have to let go of something that has been, you know, obsessively here, keeping you trapped. And it is that twin flame connection, the soulmate, or, you know, this connection that you feel pulled to, but something with that devil here and the Ten of Swords feels forbidden. What is the Ten of Swords and the Judgment? One more. Maybe you're hoping that finally... Yeah, there's an offer, the Four of Cups. You're hoping here that something will change and get you out of this painful situation. But to me, it's like with the Judgment the Ten of Swords, it's like some type of a retribution or, you know, the moment here that takes you out of this constant um, over analyzing and thinking that is someone still here guys that you're waiting for or you're hoping to hear from there's still that cup of love there what is the two of wands please tell me about the two of wands It came twice, so I feel like it's going to be your most important situation that is coming in. One more. The Magician, you see? There is going to be here an awareness. What you have been manifesting in the past, though you have been waiting for some type of message of love or, you know, someone to open up here, is saying that this is first the intentions has to be set. Someone has to be clear here what they want, deciding this is my pathway, this is my proposal, this is my person. There is an integration here and like very, like to me, it's stimulating the mind as well. But this is two people realizing they're going to be together. And it's because someone finally can see clearly manifestation, awareness of this is my best choice. This is what I want. Um, I've said it before. When I do see the temperance to me, it's two souls coming together. You do have water and fire, emotions here, and passion, instinct coming together. But it's because you are realizing something else now. What you need to do or this person. Just decide here. Be clear. Do not feel like you have to hold back. And if this is not you, this is your person. That finally someone feels like I've, I've decided this is what I want. Um, I really hope this resonates with you guys. I appreciate all of you. Thank you so much. As usual, in the extended, we will ask regarding your love life. Thank you. Bye-bye.